find the sidebar is something you are using every day to move between your files and folders. So I think it really makes sense to set it up properly in order to move around macOS the most effective and most productive way. Let me show you some of my tips. So first, let's open up Finder with Command and Shortcut. Here you don't even see the sidebar, because it's hidden. Maybe you don't see it on your Mac. In that case, go to View menu and select Show Sidebar. But here I'm getting straight away to the first tip. And that is the fact that you can hide your sidebar. You can do it with one click. The shortcut is Ctrl Command S. And thanks to that, you can get a lot more space for the content in the Finder window. It's particularly useful if you want to see larger previews of your images. But now let's bring it back and have a look at the favorite section. This whole section can be manually managed, but the basic settings are found under Finder settings here on the sidebar tab. As you can see, I always like to untick the first two items, Recents and Airdrop. These two are actually active by default, and according to me, they are both useless. Maybe you have different opinion on that, so you can share it with me in the comments below. But I am not using them, so I always untick it. First, Recents is not even a location on your computer. It's just a list of your recently opened documents or anything else. And the airdrop, well, that can be accessed in a million different ways around macOS. So I really don't need these two items taking space in the Finder sidebar. But you don't always need to go into these settings. You can easily remove the folders manually there. So simply right click it and select remove or just drag it away from the sidebar. When I dragged it away, it also unticked it here in the settings. It's so simple, so you can anytime tick it on again and bring it back. So the main tip here is to simplify the things. Remove all the folders you are currently not using. You can even untick all of this and remove the whole section. For example, if you are not using iCloud, you can untick it here and the whole section will disappear, giving you more space. We will be further on in this video adding a lot more our own folders, files or even applications in the sidebar, so it makes sense to first clean it up. I am actually using iCloud, so I will leave it there. But for example, I'm not using any connected servers. So I can untick these two items there and the whole section will disappear. I will still keep all of these external hard drives ticked on. So the section will reappear again if I connect any external storage. But for now, it will not be taking any space. Now, after we have cleaned all the unnecessary items, it's time to add our own folders. If you have any folder you are using very often, simply drag and drop it into your Finder sidebar. Just make sure you nicely fit it in between the folders which are already there, so you don't just drop it into one of these folders. Important to realize is that you are not actually dragging that folder, you are just creating a link, like a shortcut to that folder. So if I again drag it out and remove it, it will not do anything to the original folder or to the location where it was saved before. It is so easy to do it, so don't be afraid to add or remove the folders on a regular basis. There are so many users which just create a perfect setup and don't touch it for years. And that is really not a productive way how to do that. Even if you work on a project for a few days, it still makes sense to put it in the sidebar so you have it in front of your eyes and once you are done with the project, you can simply drag it away and delete it. As almost everything on the Mac, even the sidebar can be easily reorganized by drag and dropping the items. You can even drag and drop between the sections. I can take the documents folder here and drop it into the iCloud section. Well, you can't do it with any other item, but it's convenient to put this one there. Why? Because now I have these two very important locations separated from all the rest. But it's still kind of hidden down the bottom, what if I want it to be more visible? Not many people realize that it's not only about dragging the items, but you can drag the whole section and put it all the way on top. Now I'm finally getting to the point why is it so useful to have here all of our most used folders. Because I can simply take any file and drop it into one of these folders to transfer it there. Let me show you. You for example download a bunch of different files in your downloads folder. And here I have a picture, I can drop it into the pictures. 
or a music into music. This file can go into documents. And all of this can be done within a few seconds thanks to the well-organized sidebar. So far I was talking only about the folders. But you can also add individual files into your sidebar. You cannot just drag it and put it there because it will drop it into one of these folders which are already there. In order to include it in the sidebar, you need to hold command key on your keyboard and then place it in between the folders. This way you have quick access to this file and you can open it straight away from the find the sidebar. Same thing you can do with any application. You can just go to your applications folder and command track anything you want into the find the sidebar. I always like to keep in the find the sidebar only the folders, but maybe it will be a good option for you to have quick access to these applications right from the find the sidebar. And you are not limited only to the sidebar. You can also command drag and drop it into the toolbar on top. Now there is one more section down the bottom of the find the sidebar, which I haven't talked about yet. That's called tags. I don't use it so often, that's why I have it hidden. But let's reveal it by clicking on this arrow next to it. Tags can be a really good productivity tool. I have made a whole separate video where I'm showing you how to organize the files using tags. So let me show you some basics in this video as well. If I click on any of these tags in the finder sidebar, it will list me all of the items which have that tag assigned. This is not an actual folder. This is really just a list of files. So it can be very useful into separating different files into different projects without actually physically moving them from different folders and copying them. So I can now select any file, right click it, select the tag and it will automatically include it in the list. If I click on the tag again, you can see that the new file is here already. In the beginning of the video, we have removed the recent folder. And that's because it can be replaced with some more specific saved search. It's also called smart folders. Again, I have made a separate video about smart folders. So if you want to know everything about it, go to that video. But here, we can just go quickly through it. To create such a folder, you first need to make a search and set some criteria to that. I can for example search for a document. I can simply type here document, so it will list all of my documents on the Mac. As you can see there is a lot of stuff here. So we can also filter it a bit. Click on the plus button and limit this only to the recently opened documents. I can set the period as I wish. I will put here for example 30 days. Now I can click on the save button and right here is also the tick box to add it into the sidebar. So within just few clicks we have created our own smart folder and we will find that all our recent documents we are actually working on. So I think it's much better than using the default recent folder which makes all the files together. Now I think that the finder sidebar is completely changed since we started this video. So if any of these tips will make you a little bit more productive that's already a success for me so if you enjoy these kind of tips it can be easier than leaving a like or subscribing to the channel in that case i can bring you more tips so see you in the next video